It's always good to have a dog in the house, unless it could eat you right out of house and home. Today we're going to be looking at 10 expensive dogs that only the rich could afford. You would think that the lovable corgi would occupy the number one slot on this list, but you'd actually be wrong. Stay tuned to find out what the most expensive dog is, and on that note, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Afghan Hound. An ancient member of the Sighthound family, the Afghan Hound was first bred thousands of years ago by nomadic people of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and northern India. An extremely skilled hunter, the Afghan was used to bring down both large and small game, including antelopes and perhaps even leopards. Although many present-day experts doubt that leopards were the Afghan's traditional prey, eyewitness accounts tell of lone Afghans killing leopards by seizing them by the neck and severing the leopard's spines in their jaws. Pretty violent, actually. They became popular as pets and show dogs starting in the 1970s, and it's pretty easy to understand why. It's widely regarded as one of the most beautiful dogs with their flowing coats and curly tails. They even require daily hair brushing because their long silky coats become tangled very easily. You can get one of these beautiful dogs right now for the low, low price of $7,000. But don't think that the cost stops there. Not factoring in the cost of food and grooming, the health bill for this breed can easily add up. Being predisposed to cataracts and hyperthyroidism, and treating either condition can run you up to $3,000 more. So if you really want one of these, just remember the cost. Number 9. The Pharaoh Hound Aloof and goofy, the Pharaoh Hound can be dated back to around 3000 BC. It has long been rumored that the breed originates back to ancient Egypt, but was recently proven otherwise. Recent DNA analysis has shown the breed originated in Malta, where instead of being the pet of kings, was primarily used to hunt rabbits. In any case, the breed has been shown in previous Egyptian hieroglyphics, which lends credence to the idea of the pharaoh hound existing for centuries. The pharaoh hound is a muscular, athletic breed with a graceful stride. His original purpose was to track small game by using its talents of sight, sound, and smell. His look exudes an exotic and regal appearance. He loves to be able to play and has intense bouts of energy. This breed is athletic and excels at agility and lure coursing. So, how much to get your hands on the Dog of the Pharaohs? About $7,500, and that doesn't include maintenance costs as well. Number 8. The Doggo Argentino The Doggo Argentino has its origins in the province of Cordoba, where it was developed by Dr. Antonio Norris Martinez in 1928. Originally developed for big game hunting due to its muscular stature, Doggo Argentinos are one of the most expensive dogs in the world. Their muscular body allows the Doggo to hunt wild hogs in South America and Asia mainly. Not really known to be dangerous, they do have a certain predisposition to become very aggressive. Despite that, they've become very popular pets and the breed successfully combines many features. He is a long distance runner and a sprinter and a ruthless hunter as well as a good pet. For only $8,000, you can have one for your own. But then again, maintenance costs will also add up. The Doggo Argentino is a generally healthy dog with a lifespan of 9 to 15 years. They do have a few genetic problems. The main health issue is deafness. About 10% of dogs from this breed are deaf in one or both ears. And also due to their short coat, they are easily sunburned. And also they're prone to hip dysplasia, hyperthyroidism, glaucoma, and laryngeal paralysis. Imagine the vet pills right now. Number 7. The Canadian Eskimo Dog. The Canadian Eskimo Dog is one of the rarest breeds in the world and is currently facing extinction with less than 300 dogs remaining as of 2018. They were brought to North America from Siberia more than a thousand years ago and had been decreasing recently since the 1960s. And because they're so rare, they are also pretty expensive. Puppies usually cost around $87.50, which sounds not that much compared to other dogs on this list, but then again, health issues drive the maintenance cost of this breed sky high. The breed is very prone to gastric torsion as well as entropion, which is where the eyelid folds over itself, as well as heat intolerance and arthritis. This dog being very expensive to buy in maintenance is not the only factor making this breed an undesirable pet. I mean, if you have the cash to spend and no one is stopping you from getting one at least, However, if you are looking for a family pet, this is not the breed for you. Canadian Eskimo dogs are said to be very territorial and often overreact to small disturbances, which is why they are not ideal for families with children. Number 6. The Rottweiler This entry may come as a surprise to most of you. 
Indeed, Rottweilers are definitely more common compared to other breeds on this list, and they are certainly less expensive, mostly going for an average of $1,500 a pup. So, why are they considered one of the more expensive dog breeds in the world? Yes, they are big, strong, awesome dogs, but they're literally susceptible to every single disease for dogs. They're particularly susceptible to hip and joint issues, which is the reason why their pet insurance claims are the highest among any other breed. Rottweiler owners can expect to pay more than $300 annually on their pet insurance and even more for a claim. On the other hand, their lifespan is quite short, only ranging for about 8 to 10 years, which is somewhat a good thing to keep maintenance costs down, but even so, keeping your Roddy healthy and happy can ruin you for up to about $9,000. Despite the cost, they're considered a great family pet because of their loyalty and obedience to their owners. Number 5. The Ozawak. As one of the newest breakout breeds in 2019, the Yazawak is also one of the most expensive. Hailing from West Africa, they were mainly used as hunting dogs and are distinct relatives to Middle Eastern and South Indian hounds. A regal-looking dog with a lean physique, the Yazawak is a swift sight hound that will draw admiring looks every time you take it for a walk. With its extreme looks, this dog's body is unique in that it is taller than it is long. Named for the Azawak Valley in the Sahara Desert where this breed originated, the breed made its appearance in North America in the 1980s, making it a relatively newer furry face on the dog scene. Boasting a combination of loyalty and independence, this breed not only does well in a family household, but also has therapy dogs in nursing homes and rehabilitation centers. Due to its lean stature, feeding this dog isn't really a problem. In its native habitat, the Ozawak lived on a low-protein diet which consisted of the same food as its owners, mainly millet and goat milk. Like with all expensive dog breeds, the demands dictate the price, so with its recent popularity, you can get one for $9,500. Number 4. The Tibetan Mastiff This massive dog made its way to America from Tibet where it protected sheep from predators like wolves, leopards, and bears. Noticing leopards come up a lot in this video, actually. The Mastiff can reach more than 150 pounds for grown males and fends off some of the fiercest animals. While its protective nature is attractive, the Tibetan Mastiff is not the best choice for a novice dog owner. It needs someone who can guide him with kind, firm, consistent training and never force or cruelty. He is an independent thinker, but responds well to routine. Tibetan Mastiffs do not like discord, so it's not a good idea to argue in front of them or discipline children in their presence, as they are likely to step between you to put an end to arguments or scoldings. While they were initially used as guardians and protectors, they became too expensive for their owners to maintain and they slowly began to vanish. Just how expensive though? Well, try $10,000 a pup, and that doesn't include the massive food bills either. Number 3. The Chow Chow The Chow Chow originates from northern China and is one of the oldest and rarest breeds in the world. The dog itself is expensive to buy, but the cost to own a Chow Chow don't stop there. You're going to rack up the bills for food, treats, vet bills, grooming, and health issues, which can total around $11,000 for their life. Chow Chows are devoted to and protective of their families. To make them good family pets, they need plenty of early socialization, including exposure to children. Chow Chows do best with training to clarify their position in the family, or they can become dominant. Despite the challenges of training, some Chow Chows compete and do well in obedience and agility. Grooming varies with the coat type. A rough-coated Chow Chow does best with a daily grooming to keep him free of tangles. Smooth-coated dogs can be groomed briefly once or twice a week, and special attention should be paid to keeping the eyes and the facial folds clean because the profuse coat can retain dirt and debris. Number 2. The Neapolitan Mastiff With a price averaging about $8,500 a pop, the Neapolitan Mastiff is not a cheap dog to procure. However, though their large size can be intimidating, the Neapolitan Mastiff dog breed is a gentle giant that makes an excellent family pet. These dogs love their families unconditionally, but are wary of strangers. There is no doubt that these dogs will protect you from an intruder, as their fearless and protective attitude is sure to frighten any unwanted visitors. In general, Neapolitan Mastiffs are quite low-maintenance, easy-going pets. But like all pets, these huge dogs have their quirks. Neapolitans are generally hardy dogs. One minor problem that often occurs is cherry eye, where tissue in the corner of the eye becomes red and inflamed. In the vast majority of cases, there is no permanent damage. Despite the breed's impressive wrinkles and loose skin, most do not have skin problems. There are health problems that are common in giant dogs, to which the breed is not immune. 
Bloat is a sudden life-threatening condition that can affect all deep-chested dogs. Its causes are not fully understood, but owners should learn the size that bloat is occurring and know what action to take. As with all breeds of dog, the Neapolitan Mastiff can also develop hip dysplasia. So when it comes to expenses, be prepared to spend up to $1,000 on medical bills alone. Number 1. The Samoyed Coming in at our number one overall spot for the most expensive dog in the world is the Samoyed, originating from Siberia. The rare breed is known for its kind, loving, and eager-to-please attitude along with their smiling faces, which is probably the most expensive smile in the world. Getting one for yourself can set you back $14,000. The world's most expensive dog has a strong sense to run away and roam for miles on end, so always make sure they're on a leash. They're also brilliant, social, and mischievous dogs that always demand attention, making them perfect for families and children. They were bred for hard work in the world's coldest locales. In the Siberian town of Omayakon, for instance, temperatures of minus 60 degrees are common. The Sami's famous white coat is thick enough to protect against such brutal conditions. Powerful, agile, tireless, and pervious to cold, Sami's are drop-dead gorgeous but highly functional. Even their most delightful feature, a perpetual smile, has a practical function. The mouths upturned corners keep Sammies from drooling, preventing icicles from forming on the face. While the dogs are rare, they do rack up vet bills like no other dog. They are prone to expensive health issues such as corneal dystrophy, autoimmune conditions, and cardiac disorders that can mount to around $5,000. Which expensive dog would you like to take home? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.